Hey, I'm Indigo and I run Grow Agency and I am just about to start recording an amazing new journey. I'm going to learn how to do 3D modeling. So I figured it would be really cool to bring you on that learning curve with me. If you've ever wanted to figure out how to do 3D modeling, want to get into animation or engineering or 3D printing, then this is the way. Um, I'm starting from the very beginning. So if you're a novice too, don't feel daunted because I'm really starting from the, from the ground up. So I have just been introduced to SelfCAD and SelfCAD are pretty much changing the whole industry, the whole game. So no longer do you have to like study at university for years and years to figure this out or need like complicated qualifications. You can really like just get on the software and you can just start designing and start creating. Now, 3D modeling is the future. In the future, everyone's gonna have 3D printers in the home, like printing multiple materials. And it's just gonna be about creating what you wanna create. So I think this is the best time, considering we've all got a lot of time at home these days. And yeah, so I think I'd come along with me on my journey. And um, let's see if we can crack this thing. Self-CAD are pretty much changing the industry right now. So, what's great about SelfCAD is that unit user interface is pretty much smashing it because it's so intuitive and they've designed it all from the ground up. So I'm literally starting from scratch here. I'm gonna show you, we have to register. Wow, so look, that's, that's all there. We've got a free account, so you can go in and make a free account to selfcad.com. So it's been activated, that's all I had to do. I just went on selfcad.com. I clicked once on because I have a Google account and that's all I've had to do. So my free account's been activated. Um, if I want to export my designs, then I've got to upgrade. Let's first of all see what I can design. So I'm going to launch the editor. I have no idea what I'm going to design. I'm just going to get in there and first of all see if I can figure this out in first principles. This is quite exciting. I remember when I was at um, high school, it looked so complicated. I never thought I'd get into it and I was a while ago, so I'm glad things have jumped along. So I'm on the starter page for SelfCAD. This is our projects page. As you see, it's fresh. I've got no projects here. I'm gonna start my first project. So I just click on new project. Here's the default workspace size, which is the average size of a 3D printer. So if you want to be printing the project, your model on 3D printer will suggest you stick to the size untitled. Let's call, we are gonna call this project Snowman. And the orientation is Y, X, and Z. So we're gonna use this default. Create, so we're creating a project. Um, I'm gonna just figure out on the fly if I can just get in here and create and how intuitive, intuitive it is. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this cube core. I'm gonna add a sphere. Nice. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We've got an awesome menu here. So that this little cube I manipulate it and I basically move my workspace around. Now you can see we've got some amazing navigation, really intuitive actually. So we've got our axes down here. Right, front, left, all labeled here. And this is our plane, this is our workspace plane. So those squares on the front menu there, this is how many squares the whole plane is split up into. So we can have references when we're designing. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in and see how easy this is to use. So I've created a sphere and I'm just going to move that here. So don't interfere with the panel. So all of the menu items when we're manipulating objects are coming here. And I'm happy with this. I just want it in the middle of my plane. Um, 
so amazing. So how do I say this? I must be right. Tick, amazing. So super easy to use. So I'm going to create another sphere. Make sure you click on the menu item and then go and locate. Oh, so it's just okay. Oh, so it's made right. Had to finalize it. So I've got another one here. This is exactly the same place, so we can't see two, even though um, I've only got one sector. So what I need to do is move it to begin with. As I move it up, we should be able to see the other sphere. So I'm going to move up on the Y axis, which is just in the middle. Um, again, everything being a bit arbitrary at the moment because I'm just learning my way around the system. Um, cool. Okay, cool. So, we want to sit on top there. We want to change the size. We're going to scale advanced settings. Okay, cool. So, here we can create a fix on the symmetry and the proportion. So, it always stays a sphere, which is really, really handy. So, when I move the size of one, all of the others are changing, so everything's in proportion. Sweet. We definitely have a snowman looking type shape occurring here. Let's just move him down a little bit on the y axis. I'd like to have a bit more of a donkey snowman tradition, otherwise, the head falls off in the snow, right? Okay, so we have the basics. So at the moment they're two different shapes, so I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go to tools, no, utilities, I'm going to merge them into one object. Cool, so now that's one object as you can see. What should we do next? Let's experiment. We're going to make the carrot, right? For his nose. Okay, so this is where this sphere, this cone has just appeared, you can see underneath. Let's maybe we should keep it as it is and then stay with this, scale it. Advanced setting, symmetry and proportion again. Yeah. And let's just scale him down. Okay, so we're going to make this kind of really small. Right, so just so we can have a view of what we've done, I'm going to just move him up on the y axis, I guess, to begin with. So let's just have a look. You can see this cone here has jumped up. Scale. I feel like it's a bit wide for a nose, so to go back into, hmm. do you want to deform it? A twisted nose, how does this work? Okay. I do okay, this is a computer experiment, of course. I'm not sure I want to twist it. What I really want to do is let's leave that. So it's great, but not you don't have to be so attached to everything you do on here. What we really need to do is rotate it so that okay, so here we've got arrows to direct us. So X is this way, Z is that way. And Y is that way. So I think we need to move Z really. Z or Z, depending on where you're coming from. Okay, so this is slowly rotating it round, which is exactly what we need because we need, we need it to be on the face. So if we just manipulate our board, we can see 
that's now going to be more what we're looking for. So that's great. And then we want to, so is that saving as we go? It seems to be. Okay, now we need to move it. So we need to move out on the X axis. Are we going to go back to front? Where's our front? See, so this is great because it's just completely telling me what to do. Oh, we're going to the right now. All right, so we'll make it facing the right. So we're going to move it out the X axis. So that means we need the X axis to increase to bring it forward. Should be able to see that from this side, see this angle here. Okay, that's going to be too far because we want it to sit on the face. And then we've got our y-axis, so that's going to go down. Let's see. Okay, it's still quite a big comb for the face, isn't it? It's more like a corona gas mask, so maybe we'll make <laughs> the corona gas mask snowman. Because you can never be too careful. That's so interesting as it moves back, it's kind of disappearing into the face. See how that comb is changing? Okay. So. I think it's still too big, so we're gonna make it a lot smaller. Let's just keep the size and make it smaller in the face. Right, that's a bit more like it, isn't it? Although it's a bit dumpy, isn't it? So let's take off symmetry. And proportion and increase the x axis just on its own. Now it's looking more like a carrot. And z can go smaller, which is going to make it narrower. These are great, these are literally informing me. See these colors? It's telling me what I should do the whole time. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to figure this out with these constant references here. This really has made this basically just go in and start designing. Oh, now we have some sort of flat. So I've gone way too far. So I want to undo, basically I want to undo and get it back to the sphere. Yeah, so it was the Z, right, so I've just undone so all we can do. So the Z axis is just basically way too small, so I just need to, here we go, you can see it lengthening out. Really it's intuitive, it's just a question of getting to know what I need to do and how this works. Very cool. Okay, so we have a carrot looking thing on his face, and I'm going to move it back again a little bit. So I hope you're finding this really nice and slow because as I said to you, I am a real beginner and now at least you know that you can be able to do this thing. Turn that into my needle side. Cool. So we want to just rotate that, I think. So X, I'm going to rotate it so it's a bit more even. I don't know why. Not really, but cool. Um, now we can change it to orange. So that's that's our carrot nose. Cool. I didn't think I'd get this far so quickly, actually. Very, very cool. So, in order to then make that part that I want to merge them, I think we have to put it in the right? So, let's try and merge it. 
Cool, so now it's all on objects. Amazing. So what is our snowman name now? He needs some eyes. What's this Taurus? That looks cool. What? That was like, looks like he's sat on a tire now. Okay, so we're going to, I think, I'm going to leave everything. Let's just bring it up to the top so we can work with it and not have it into the <laughs> with us in there. Okay, so I've got my toilets up there. My right, so I actually really want the rotation to change, don't I? Because I'm gonna need it on the front of the face. So I'm thinking that's why. No, that's just a rotation. Ah, so that's using Z, so that's changing it Amazing. i love how it's auto saving as well can you see at the top here which is great for me because i always forget to save these things yeah this is super simple okay um So we're going to, I think, I think that will do, won't it? So let's save that. And that's given us our basic to work on. So I've got this object selected, so this is what I'm working on. Okay, right, I'm going to scale, so I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to go to advanced setting, symmetry, keep proportion. And I'm going to scale this thing down. Right, it's got to be at least half the size, so. Um, so. Turn, is that too small? Like that. And for something in between. Um, great, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to have to move it again now, so I'm going to move it down the Y axis. To, I need to move it across the X axis. So, again, it's arbitrary at the moment. I'm just figuring out as I go along. No, I don't want to read. That was a slip. So let's try 15. 15, 17, 19, 19. Okay, so let's just move on. Well, it's this, I'm not like way too far. I really should have been looking at it from this perspective. Right, so let's go back to 50. It's amazing, actually. I didn't realize that from that other perspective, and it looks so different when you're using the right view. I can't believe how easy this is. That's kind of really, really bright. Right, okay, so I'm going to move it. Now I'm going to move it again down the y-axis into place. What's happening here? We more of a front view. It's not quite there, is it? So we definitely need to move it. I think we're going to go for a left eye. No. No, we'll go for a right eye. All right, so left would just be moving across the axis the other way. So this is the right eye because I'm looking at the opposite. It doesn't matter because um, 
Okay, then we'll be able to duplicate it. Okay, so I need to increase it coming out. Okay, what does this look like? Wow, it's kind of sticking out like he's wearing glasses or something. That's unexpected and very cool. So I think I'm going to keep it like that because it's pretty much only something you could do with a 3D character. Let's just move him a little more in. Okay, let's just also change the color. I don't know what, what color eyes do we want our snowman to have. I don't have some purple glasses there, so I'm gonna... Wow, I've just drag and dropped another one. So now I can start using that. And we have that object selected. So I know I'm gonna just move that. So here it is, the X all the way at the end and Y. Yeah, so if I actually just go back to this one. And um, remember my values, I should just be able to type them straight in. So here we go, we're gonna select, select this one, deselect. I love how this the move just stays up. Okay, so my other one's at 39, so let's shoot for 50x. 164y and 13. Where did it go? Oh, it's up there, cool. So I've done something wrong here because I need it to be. Oh, there we go, just jump. Okay, so we want to. want to move in on the, on the V. Access. So we're going into the minus. Let's just move around so we don't need to attach to his head. It's not quite attached to his head, is he? Okay, so we need to move back. Oh no, that's up and down on the way to it. So we move back on the X. Until the model's emerged. Cool. Move okay, a bit. So bring him in here. Oops. Just as the eyebrows now. Okay, so let's just have a look. It seems pretty attached. Um, okay, like this one. It needs to come in a little more. Okay, cool. I'm pretty much there with that. Maybe we'll just bring the other one. And, oh, we have them both. Oh, that's cool. I put them both selected now, and I'm moving them both at the same time. So that's a very cool feature. Okay, so I'm just going to just check like what's happening here. In terms of these eyes, and see if I'm happy with them. Because if you're gonna print it on 3D, they really need to be attached otherwise. It's not gonna work, is it? Okay, I think that this original eye needs to come back a little bit. So
again. Right, not bad, not bad for a first gig. Okay. Just gonna send to that. Cool. Send to them, I'm happy. So now I'm going to just select that and the other model and I'm going to merge objects. Cool, so now it's one object. Nice. Cool, that's our basic snowman. Let me see what else we want to do. Let's go for another Taurus and we need to rotate this way. Finish our objects. Uh, I'm just going to make a little smile, I hope. Um, okay, so that's our basic. I'm going to scale to make it smaller. Advanced setting, symmetry, key proportion. And it's just making it small, just a bit as a man. Cool, here we go. You cool. could leave it as a halo, but that's just not what we're modeling on now. My angel episode. Okay, now I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move and the X axis. Now I'm gonna move down the line. A bit more X. Cool. I mean, I'm really using the most basic skills right now, but I just hope that you can see how easy it is to just get started with this thing and actually begin letting your imagination run wild. Um, as I go in my videos, I'll be teaching new skills and new tricks as I learn them. I literally did not plan coming in here, and I've just basically got started. I'm like building a model from these 3D shapes and manipulating styles, size, scale, and the workspace just from intuition. And that is what makes this such an incredible program. Okay, so I mean, I will give you, it is a weird mouth. Um, so we probably need to change the rotation upwards on the Y. Is that doing anything? No, doing the wrong thing. We need to change upwards on the X. Rotating. Mm, okay. Does not. Ooh. 
That's quicker, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Wow. Thank you, self -touch. Okay, so maybe you can't see his really a smile yet, so let's change this. Hello. And now I'm going to merge all my objects again together. Amazing. So here we have my basic snowman. Cool. So here's my basic snowman. I think it's a bit gaudy, so I'm cool. Going to change the color. And to make sure everything's merged. Okay, so here's my really basic snowman. So yeah, have you feel inspired? I think I'm going to have a little learn, a little play, and come back to you and make something a bit more complicated, maybe a bit more inspiring. Uh, yeah, sign up on SelfCAD, it's super easy, it's free just to go in and have a test play, but it's a really, really fast start to something that you have big barriers to entry and no need, the need for lots of technical skills. As you see, I just figured it out on the fly and I'm sure you can come up with something better, so hit me up and show me what you create. So I hope you really enjoyed that little tutorial. I hope I showed you that it's super easy to just get in self-cad and start 